Hi everyone! Now we're going to talk about how to play Almost Like a Dream on um, page 8 on Piano Adventure Level 2B Lesson Book. So this piece we're going to explore um, the use of fermata. So if you're not sure what a fermata is, um, if you draw a little um, rainbow with a dot in the middle, that's a fermata. That's just meaning um, to hold the notes a little longer. And also we're going to explore if you have a paddle, so today is the time to actually use it. We're going to be using our right foot to press the right suspend paddle. So if you don't have one, don't worry, um, there's uh, one I will link in the description. Uh, you can get it as an attachment for Amazon uh, for like 10 or 15 bucks. So let's dive into the piece. So first of all you will see that we're going to start on A instead of on C today and we're going to use a lot of fifth. Fifth, I'm talking about in terms of intervals. If you can count A, B, C, D, E, five notes, that's a fifth. Okay, so for the left hand it is going to be A and E starting on the A that's right below middle C and after you find that Trying to wiggle your hand and find a comfortable position to use your pinky and your thumb to play that. And then next you're going to use your right hand. Find the next A and E. So basically A, E, A, E. The only difference is the left hand, we're going to play note by note and right hand, we're going to play together. Two notes together. So what you're hearing is actually with the paddle press down. And then the next one, left hand doesn't change, but right hand we're going to change to A and C. So what kind of interval is that? If you can count A, B, C, that's a third. So that's it. And then now you're going to bridge it over to this high C. And this is the one that has a fermata on it. So you're going to pause on it, and give it an extra beat. And then now we're going to go to the second line. Here I am on measure 3. Everything the same except for my left hand has go from A in the bottom to F in the bottom. Too. So you see that I'm shifting same distance, but I'm just going to start on F. And then right hand on A and E. And right hand is exactly the same, including the fermata at the very end. And now on this third line, we're going to do a little bit of variation, which we go back to A and E, and then right hand, we're going to A and E, so like that. And now is the time that my right hand, I'm going to go to a fourth instead of a fifth. So. A, B, C, D, E, that's a fifth, right? And then now the second time I'm going to go to A, D, so that's a fourth, right? That's a fourth. And then a third and back to a fourth. So basically a fifth, a fourth, only the right hand. Left hand remains the same. Now at the end, same as the first line, and then the only difference is the very last measure, we're going to find this F sharp. So F sharp right above middle C, and then this top C, both on Fermata. And then you're going to leave your hand in the air, give it a second, and then slowly close and lift your paddle. So you can see my feet today, uh, my feet, sorry. Uh, but basically just gently press it down and without doing anything abruptly. So just gently press it down and then let it go. Gently press it down, let it go. Okay, so I hope you enjoy. Uh, thank you.